Trick or treat. The hell? A, you live here. B, you're too old. I'm too old by a lot. So it's Halloween. And uh, Case, you were just telling me moments ago that you have some rules for Halloween for um, who to give candy out to. And I just want to let you know that we have a pretty good collection here. But you're not just going to give it away to anyone, are you? No. Okay, rule number one. Do you have a mustache? A real no, mustache. No candy. No candy. Rule number two. Your voice has changed. <laughs> no candy. Rule number three. You're a girl and you've developed. <laughs> no candy. So this is, see, a, a lot of houses just give it away, right? But here you gotta, you gotta pass the test. You know, we, you gotta have credibility on Halloween. Daily Lance blog here. And, uh, yesterday we had, uh, um, something that was very disturbing, but also very, uh, made me really proud. I want to say disturbing because somebody who's in the family, so to speak, in the Signal Week family, was really struggling and was on the edge and was considering um, taking his or her own life. And um, that created a real outpouring of emotion from people who, who repeatedly said uh, via Twitter, uh, hey, we're here with you. We understand you. Um, just all kinds of encouragement. And I thought, wow, you know, I, I, I don't know in the end if that can, can, uh, can save someone. But I do know that it can be one of the elements that goes to saving someone. And in the end, um, so far so good. But I, I think that it's patronizing to say that I'm here with you. You're not alone. I mean, that sounds good. Uh, and to some extent, when you're saying you're not alone, they actually aren't alone. But at its very core, I think it's, it's a bit unfair to say, hey, I'm here, like I'm on Twitter, or even if you're face to face, I mean, still, the battle that you fight is not with your surroundings, but it's with what's up here in your head. And while other people can help you for sure, and I'm all for that, and I'm all for the encouragement, it still takes a, a massive amount of energy to pull yourself down from that really, really difficult position. So we try to do what we can, but one thing I never, ever, ever do is I never oversell what we can do. We just try to do a little bit. If we could do a lot, we would. And if it turns out to be a lot, but what we try to do is just in a small way, make you more comfortable with your illness, make you more comfortable with the things that you're thinking. And we try to be there to tell you, you know what, that is the illness talking, not you. SickNotWeek.com. It's a big job, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. And yes, the speculation worldwide is rampant. What day is Landsberg going to take off?